Nigeria is a country shaped by over 250 ethnic groups and has over 50 languages. Many stories have originated from these people who are rich in their culture and diversity. One story in particular we read in class, Marriage is a Private Affair, tells the story of two young people who were alienated by their cultural gap that gives way to the prejudice amongst different ethnicities. The two cultures in this story are the Igbo and the Bibio. These two cultures border each other and are located in the southeast region of Nigeria. In the story, Namaka, a young Ibu man, marries his true love, Nene, an Abibio woman. Namaka's father does not approve of his son marrying a woman who is a different ethnicity and refuses to see his son or his son's new wife. To further understand the story, we compared the Ibo and the Abibio cultures by researching their religions, mythology, art, and music. Both the Igbo and the Bibio are polytheistic and believe in a supreme being. In the Igbo culture, Shukwu is the benevolent god who is all good. He is a withdrawn god and seldom referred to in the affairs of humans. He has finished all active works of creation, including the creation of Uwa, the visible universe. Uwa is divided into two levels, the natural level, or the human level, and the spiritual level, where the minor gods, who are also the nature gods, dwell. These gods are subject to passions and weaknesses just like humans. Of the minor gods, Allah is the earth goddess and the one nearest to the people. There is also an Agu, sun god, an Igwe, sky, and many others. All Ibu sacrifices are made to the minor gods, but Chukwu ultimately receives them all. However, he is not directly worshipped and no shrine is dedicated to him. The Ibu's attitude toward higher beings is not one of fear, but of friendship. The Ibu believe in pantheism, which is a belief system that says God exists and interpenetrates every part of nature. Chi is another element of the Ibu faith. Chi is a personification of an individual's fate and is responsible for an individual's luck or misfortune. It can be seen as acting like a guardian angel. Because of British colonialism, the majority of the Ibu are Christian and celebrate holidays like Easter and Christmas. But the most important Ibu ceremony is Aijiki, New Yam Festival. Yam is a symbol for prosperity and success in the Ibu culture. New Yam is celebrated annually between October and August. It is a thankful celebration to ancestors for a productive year and a prayer for a prosperous future harvest. It consists of food, dancing, and masquerades. The Bibio believe in a supreme being named Abasi, who is commonly considered the creator of human beings. The Bibio believe a person has two souls, an immortal soul and an animal-linked soul, which can be lions, leopards, bush pigs, antelopes, and pythons. They believe the animal-linked soul dies when the person dies, but the immortal soul is reincarnated or becomes a ghost that troubles people who are still alive. The Ibu believe that the living, the dead, and the unborn form part of a continuum. Enshrined ancestors are those who lived their lives well and died in a socially accepted manner. Originally, Chukwu never intended death to exist. In Ibu mythology, Chukwu does not intend that people should die, and when they begin to do so, he immediately attempts to correct the problem. Dispatches a dog and tells the people that if they gently sprinkle ashes from a wood fire over the corpse, they can thereby restore the dead to life. But the dog gets distracted when he finds a bone to gnaw on, and so Chukwu sends a sheep to carry this instruction. But the sheep becomes confused, and instead tells the people to bury the dead in the ground, making death permanent. Another Igbo mythology story is their creation story that begins with husband and wife, Igwe, who lives in the sky, and Ala, who lives on the earth. They created eight people, four men and four women. Igwe teaches the men of men's work, and Allah shows the women the women work. This story compares to the Greeks' creation story in that man was created by the gods and goddesses, and man took image of the gods. Also, the supreme god did not actually have a hand in creating man. This story differs from Greek creation story in that man and women were created at the same time, whereas in Greek mythology, they were created separately. 
and in Greek mythology, Pandora opened a box releasing evil into the world. But in the evil religion, evil came slowly after generations who lost their virtue. The creation story of the Bibio is the sun and water both used to live on earth together. The sun always would visit the water, but the water never visited the sun. The sun asked the water why he never visited him at his house. The water told the sun that his house wasn't big enough, so if he came, he would drive the sun out. The water told the sun if he wanted him to visit, he had to build a very large house. So the sun built a house and invited the water over. The water came in slowly, and soon the sun and moon had to go on top of the roof. When the water was fully in the house, the sun and moon had been pushed into the sky, where they have remained ever since. The Ibu Society is based on farming, but they are also very talented woodworkers. This talent shows in their beautiful masks and traditional figures. But the Ibos produce a wide variety of art, including artifacts and textiles, and works with metal such as bronze. The Bibio make two kinds of masks, Idok and Mafan. The Mafan masks represent spirits who have reached paradise. They are out during the daytime burials, honoring the recent dead. Their dances are slow and graceful and have bright colored costumes. They are considered good and beautiful and embody the souls of people who were productive and morally unblemished. These souls have positive influence and are welcome among the living. The Idok mask is ugly and black and evokes wandering spirits. They often have a naturalistic appearance with movable jaws. They represent corrupt, immoral, ugly, and evil souls who are sentenced to ghosthood. They appear only at night after the Mafan masks have gone. They wear black costumes and dance wildly, at times to invoke terror in people they encounter. Many of these masks have distorted facial features that are interpreted as advanced states of disfiguring diseases. Music is a big part of the Ibu culture. The Ibu people have a great variety of percussion instruments used in their songs. The Udu is an African drum that in the Igbo, Igbo language means vessel. Actually being a water jug with an additional hole, it was played by women for ceremonial uses. Usually the udu is made of clay. An ekwe is formed from hollowed log. The ekwe is a type of drum with rectangular cavity slits in the hollowed out wooden interior. The ekwe comes in a variety of sizes and designs and each size is determined by the purpose it is being used for. An ekwe can be used for traditional cultural events or it can be used for music. An ojine, a handbell designed from a forged iron, is another instrument that is commonly used in Ibu music. Although the Ibu and the Bibio have many differences, they are similar in their love for music, art, and their gods.